Hey guys, this is Rue Roni K95 here, and welcome to the 2023 edition of my DVD and Blu-ray collection library video series. So today we're going to be taking a look at my movies from the 1970s on here, between 1971 and 1977 on here, because we're long overdue for a brand new video, because we're just going to take a look at those that I got, because I have some of them on VHSs, I got a lot on DVDs, but we do got a Blu-ray in addition to that, because... That's why I've been literally getting into the Blu-ray, and that's why. Because why not? I love Blu-ray. So, let's dive into this, today, on the Physical Media Video Library Series. Welcome back. In this brand new video, we're going to be showcasing some movies I have right here because I have a lot of titles to showcase on here because, yeah, that's just basically it explains the way though that. From what I'm knowing is that I'm going to have to be showcasing a lot of these because. We're going to do this, and I have a lot of these movies on here between 1971 and 1977, because I know this is long overdue for a brand new video, and Particularly, I have been want thinking about it, which I forgot to do one, but I didn't feel like it yesterday because I did. I had to re relax in thinking about forming a metal band, which we'll get to in just a moment. Okay, so without any further ado, which is right here, right now, let's dive into the movies. What we got? So the first one here I have for the movies between 1971 to 1977. This one I got right here on DVD, and I think I got this at a book sale for only like a dollar at a library. And I think this is the one that I have been basically wanting to get. Duel. This is Steven Spielberg's directorial debut movie. For, uh, how I come by for this movie, though. And this has the DVD exclusive, which it has... A lots of them uh, as well. And this not only it has those, but it's also got the pho photograph gallery and the production notes also on this DVD though. And yes, this is based on his published story by Richard Matheson, who worked as a screenplay on the movie. And this movie stars Dennis Weaver in that movie. If this could ever get a proper Blu-ray release, or on 4K Ultra, that would have been awesome to have this a for the proper Blu-ray release on here. Yeah, because this is how I want to come by for... And this is obviously my first Steven Spielberg movie on DVD I bought, because this is how it introduced me to this as well. And another movie I have right here on VHS, and... I think I also got this at a uh, library, no, not library, uh, Hollywood Video, a local Hollywood video a while back as well. And this could be all at once as well. And for most of the parts is that I wanted to buy something like this, and I wanted to get it on VHS as well. And that is Escape from the Planet of the Apes. This is particularly the Hollywood video copy that I just got on VHS, though, because this has the old Hollywood video sticker label, because if you look at this on here, because it says, Warning, full retail value of this product will be collected if this security label is altered or removed. Oh, yeah, that's what it says on here. Because, you know, like most VHS tapes uh, that I got are at Hollywood Video. Oh, 
are like those back then. Either if it's on sale or if it's for renting. Like if you've ever been renting movies on video, VHS or DVD at Hollywood Video. If I could remember as well. Yeah, that just gets to the thing for that. And another movie I have right here on um, Blu-ray, and this is the first time I wanted to get this on here for the very first time. The Cowboys, starring John Wayne, and this movie is directed by Mark Rydell. Yeah, it's Mark Rydell's m m film that he directed. However, I love the artwork on the disc, if, if you take a note, as well as the poster, because it's like a little reminiscent to like these classic posters uh, at the time in the 70s as well. However, this DVD has the director's commentary, and this has the... The new cast director reunion featurette at the Cowboys together again, which is yeah, you know, it's basically it has the featurette, the the reunion, and this has the vintage featurette as a in addition to that, and this is presented it in 1080p high definition quality for a Blu-ray release of this um, here because I, it's been a long time since I did, showed you this video, uh, this Blu-ray I got on my previous video where I did my Blu-ray update as well, and a classic movie that I loved. I think I remember watching this movie, and I think I got this on uh, Columbia House, where they had these DVDs on sale, though, that I have right here. Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. To me, this movie, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, in my opinion, is one of my all-time favorite movies that I got as well, because I just wanted to come by for this as well. And this has the special features, Pure Imagination, the making of Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. And this has the feature-length audio commentary with the actors who played as the kids from uh, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. You know, like, Julie Don Cole, Denise Nickerson, Paris Themmem, and if I cannot pronounce his last name... Yeah, and Peter Ostrom in that one, if I if he was on there as well. Yeah, because, you know, it's, it's particularly whatever you want to come by when you ever want to watch a classic movie that is something good as well. I mean, I think I like this a lot more than Charlie and the Chocolate Factory with Johnny Depp. Well, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory with Johnny Depp, you have to be in the mood for it, especially if it's, like, if you've ever read the, not, the book by Roald Dahl. But the, this movie, you, you have to throw in any time. Because this movie is directed by Mel Stewart. Because to me, though, this is my all-time favorite definitive movie. Because this is a classic movie. Rest in peace, Gene Wilder. Because he is the original Willy Wonka himself. And another movie I have right here on DVD. And I just wanted to come by for this as well. I am right here in the 1972 category under movies. The only thing I need to get that I have are the, the other three that are missing that I need to get, which are um, not only three, but four. Let's see. Man of the East, which is Terrence Hill's Spaghetti Western Classic, which I need to get as well. All the Way Boys, which is the Terrence Hill and Bud Spencer movie on DVD, if you ever could find one. And Ralph Bakshi's first animated adaptation that is based on an underground comic that is the first animated movie, Fritz the Cat, which is the first movie from Ralph Bakshi. In addition to that, I need to get is Heavy Traffic as well. But I'll pr pretty soon I will get those at one point on DVD and Blu-ray for the most part. So continuing on with my... And so anyway, so continuing with my night movies I have right here that I'm going to show you, Godzilla vs. Gigan. This is part of the Godzilla Showa era collection in the in the night in the seventies on here. Yeah, I could remember. Yeah, it's Godzilla vs. Gigan. Yeah, because I looked at it, it says nineteen seventy two. Yeah, so, yeah, it's basically how you want to come by for this. Yeah, this has both English and the Japanese language dub on here, which is the English subtitled version. And this is presented in an anamorphic widescreen on the DVD as well. And 
which is in a 16 by 9 anamorphic widescreen on that one. Here's the disc to this movie on DVD. Yeah, it's basically the 50th anniversary on DVD as well. Because I just wanted to come by for this, for why I acknowledged it. And another movie I have right here on VHS that I have right here, and I think I got this at a Goodwill store, Conquest of the Planet of the Apes. Yeah, it's Conquest of the Planet of the Apes. Yeah, because, you know, this is basically the most violent and fourth Planet of the Apes movie in the franchise, though, because, because I remember watching the documentary on that saying their parents, you know, grabbed their kids and had run through the aisle just to get away from the, just to get out of the theater because the parents thought this movie was violent. You know, well, it's just basically how it's been depicted it in this movie, though, because of the... Uh, yeah, it's been a long time since I've watched this movie, though. Good movie, in my opinion. This is a old VHS 1985 Playhouse video release, which is in conjunction with CBS Fox Video. Yeah, because it's basically what how older VHSs are like this as well. Particularly for what I wanted to come by on that. Just to acknowledge my ways as well. And another movie I have right here on DVD, and this is a, one of my most memorable movies I've watched, I remembered. The Call of the Wild, starring Charlton Heston. This is the movie I have on DVD from Good Times Home Entertainment or Good Times DVD Entertainment on DVD, though, because this DVD is compatible with all DVD players. It's all in region coded. Yeah, because it's how I got this on DVD. Yeah, it's this movie, though. And... This movie was shot... Some of the scenes in this movie were shot in Norway. Yeah, because according to this DVD that I found as well. Yeah, this has been a while since I've watched this movie. It's based on the book by Jack London. And another movie I have right here on DVD that I got at Target, Snoopy Come Home. It's been a while since I've seen this movie. Yeah, because I had to get it come about, across for how I wanted it to look for a Peanuts movie on here. I mean, the music in this is composed by Richard M. and Robert B. Sherman instead of Vince Guaraldi. H however, this movie's more... Af came out after A Boy Named Charlie Brown, although A Boy Named Charlie Brown was the only movie that has got the music score from Vince Guaraldi as well. When I first watched... Uh, Snoopy Come Home, I thought to myself, I couldn't remember who composed the music. I always thought this was composed by Vince Garaldi, but apparently, though, this is composed by Richard M. and Robert B. Sherman, which is the Sherman Brothers themselves, that recently worked with the music when they were working with Walt Disney at the time as well. They worked on this one as well. <clears throat> I mean, it has its moments, but overall, it's been a while since I watched this. Another DVD I got right here, and this is one of those movies I have as well. And this is the one that have these digital copies on here that I got right here. Where the Red Fern Grows. This has been a long time since I watched this movie, though. Yeah, because I just wanted to come by... How this movie is directed by uh, Norman Tokar, who recently worked on The Ugly Dachshund, Savage Sam, and The Apple Dumpling Gang. Yeah, however, this movie is directed by Norman Tokar, because if you've ever been getting to know these movies that are directed by every movie director as well. Another movie I have right here on VHS on here, and this is part of the Star Classics collection, I think I found this on eBay. Godzilla vs. Megalon. This is also available on the Blu-ray under the 
Criterion Collection on, I believe it was on Blu-ray though, which it also includes the original Japanese language version, with, which is the English subtitled version as well, because, you know, like most of them in general though, because I just wanted to come for the fact of this as well, because, however, not only the this is also on VHS, but this was also riffed and showcased on the TV series uh, called Mystery Science Theater 3000. Yeah, because I loved watching Mystery Science Theater 3000. This movie has got to the to my case for what I want to come by for how they were shown on Mystery Science Theater 3000. Another movie I have right here on DVD, and this is from Roman Polanski on DVD. Chinatown. This is part of the widescreen collection on DVD, though, because I had to get... This has been a long time since I watched this movie, back in 2018, when I borrowed it on DVD from the library. But when I saw this at the library book sale, when it was on sale, this was donated to the library, and I thought, ooh, I should pick this up. However, this came with an insert on there, and this has the booklet where it's part of the price-to-own Paramount DVDs yours to collect on here and this has the mail-in DVD offer form if you ever want to buy titles from these movies on DVD though yeah I didn't know this has this accordingly this booklet as well interesting hmm. oh yeah You already made me want to know. Oh, there's... It's one of those DVD got catalog listings on here. If you want to get some uh, some titles from, from on there that, that you want to get that you don't have on DVD. And if you've ever been a, a movie collector on either DVD or Blu-ray as well. Another movie I have right here, and this is my favorite westerns from Mill Brooks on here. And this is my all-time classic favorite. And I thought this is hilarious, in my opinion. Blazing Saddles. This is the greatest Western comedies ever made. This has been a long time since I've seen it. Well, it's been a, not a long time, but apparently it's it's been a while since I watched this movie, though. You know, because I didn't know that this is a Mel Brooks movie on there. There's only 25 chapters on this DVD, though. Yeah. However, I have yet to rewatch this movie because I Gene Wilder's in this movie. I didn't, you know, Willy Wonka himself, and I think Gene Wilder was also in Young Frankenstein, which I don't have, but I will get it on Blu-ray at one point as well because he's a legendary actor in my opinion though to me I have wanted to come by for this movie though yeah this is how th this movie is directed by Mel Brooks who re recently worked on Spaceballs Young Frankenstein and I think he also directed High Anxiety as well it's been a while since I've seen those movies though yeah, I think I saw High Anxiety, though. Another movie I have right here on DVD, and this is the one that I'm going to show you that I have right here. Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla. However, this DVD has both versions on the dub on here. This has the English and the Japanese language track on here, because I just wanted to realize as well. Because... If you ever want to come by for this, is how you get the thing for how this has the Japanese English subtitled version on here. Well, if it's in Japanese, then there's the English subtitles, like you're reading your way through as well. And this also has the English dub on here. And this is presented in 16x9 anamorphic widescreen on this DVD, though. It's also available on the Blu-ray under the Godzilla Showa film collection on Blu-ray, which is under Criterion collection, though. Yeah, in case you're wondering as well. 
another movie I have right here, and this is like one of those like MGM Midnight Movie Double Feature DVDs on here. The The Land That Time Forgot and The People That Time Forgot. These two movies on here. However, The Land That Time Forgot, I have never seen this movie though, but I think this should go in the 1975 movies. However, The People That Time Forgot should go in the 1977 movies on here. Because, although this is part of the uh, MGM Midnight Movies Double Features series on here, how these movies are all in these flipper discs as well. Like, if you want, want to watch them on the other side of the disc as well. Because, you know, that's, that's how it is, particularly for what. Because I remember seeing these at Walmart years ago, back in 2008. And another movie I have right here on DVD, and this is another one from Norman Tokar, The Apple Dumplin' Gang. This is a, another movie that is also presented in THX on this DVD, though. I didn't know that. And this, However, this also has the audio commentary on this DVD, though, and this has the conversations with Tim Conway. And this also has the biographies on the DVD, though, and this is presented in 16x9 anamorphic widescreen on here, and this is also THX certified on this DVD. This is the 2003 DVD release, Walt Disney DVD release on here. No movie, no Disney Movie Awards Club exclude on there, but this is the original actual DVD, though. I got, got this a while back at Bar B Borders Bookstore. Yeah, I think I remember. Yeah, this is the one that I got. And this is the one presented in THX Certified. I don't see the Disney Movie Rewards logo on this DVD, though, because this is the older DVD release, from which is presented in THX Certified on this DVD, though. Another Western movie I have right here, and this is part of the Universal Western Collection series on here, I have is Rooster Cogburn and the Lady. This is the follow-up to the movie True Grit, with this movie stars... Catherine Hepburn and John Wayne in this movie because this is a an outstanding follow-up to the original True Grit. Although I have seen this movie because I could put this movie on the double feature with True Grit though because I just wanted to come by for like classic movies like this as well. Although this movie features Anthony Zerba in this movie and Tommy Lee in this movie. And also, you got Jack Colvin, who recently worked on The Incredible Hulk 1978 TV series on here. He's also in this movie, also, because I just wanted to come by for... Accordingly. And this is presented in 16x9, anamorphic widescreen on this DVD. And this has the cast and filmmakers' bios on this DVD. And this also has the film highlights on this DVD, also, as well. I really need to get are the, the other two movies, which are Jaws and, uh, in addition to the other movie, those two on Blu-ray, I need um, the Rocky Horror Picture Show, because it's been a while since I've seen the Rocky Horror Picture Show, because it's a good movie in my opinion, though, because I really need to get the, that on Blu-ray also, for the most part. And we're in... Another movie I have right here on DVD, and this is from Home Vision Entertainment, and this is going out of print, though, because I'm hoping this could ever get a proper home video release from Arrow Video that I got right here, and that is Allegro Non Troppo. This is the my first Italian movie on DVD. This got me introduced to the world of Italian cinema on this DVD, though, because to me, though... This movie it only has the original Italian language version with the English subtitles on here. However, there is a lot of produced home video materials for Allegro Non Troppo. There is a lot of it. However, there were versions of Allegro Non Troppo on VHS and Laserdisc by RCA Columbia Home Video, which it has the English dub on here which it was missing on the DVD. 
if they have it with both versions on this, like, take an example. If this could ever have both versions, like, play the original English dub version from Atlantic Television on here, and watch the Italian version with English subtitles on here, like, both versions, if only if this was, like, my Blu-ray release of Space Warrior, Baldios anime movie on Blu-ray that I had in my anime collection, though, because I'm hoping if Arrow Video could get the treatment for Allegro Non Tropo for a Blu-ray release, let's just pray if Arrow Video could get a, a hold of Allegro Non Tropo on Blu-ray, because that'll be awesome, and they would have the English version from the Atlantic Tel, which is the, the English dub from Atlantic Television included on the Blu-ray release from Arrow Video if it should be remastered in 1080p high definition quality on here. And this has the 10 short films by Bruno Bazzetto and this has the the best of Bruno Bazzetto oh, on there. And this has the Italian documentary that includes interviews with Maurizio Nicchetti and Bruno Bozzetto himself. Il Mondo di Bozzetto, which is the world of Bozzetto, which is a documentary on here. And this DVD is going out of print, but collector's items these days, I am get to owning this DVD because I'm hoping Arrow Video could get a hold of this for a Blu-ray release, though, because... That would be awesome if Arrow Video should get a hold for a Blu-ray release, though. And another movie I have right here on DVD, and this is part of the Premiere Collection I have right here, that I have on DVD as well, The Omen. This movie stars Lee Remick and Gregory Peck. This movie is very scary, more terrifying and... and horror... Or almost like The Exorcist, though, because, however, this movie has the documentary on here, and this also has the deleted scene with commentary on there. There's a lot, and this also includes the director's commentary from Richard Donner and editor Stuart Bayard. Because Richard Donner... This movie is directed by Richard Donner, though, who recently worked on most of the Superman movies, though. Including the the Richard Donner cut on Superman 2 movie, though. And I think he also worked on the Lethal Weapon movies, The Goonies, and Lady Hawk as well. And I think he also directed Scrooged, which is uh, Bill Murray's take on A Christmas Carol as well. It's been a long time since I've seen this. Terrifying, though. And another movie I have right here on VHS, and this is one of those cheesiest movies ever made on here, like the sci-fi classic movies on here, that I saw on Tubi TV, Planet of Dinosaurs. Yeah, this is like your typical generic sci-fi movie on there. I mean, to me, though, it's like how you wanted to cross the history, evolution of dinosaurs with some, some science fiction-esque feeling. Like a Star Trek sci-fi vibe feel for this movie, though. Because I didn't know... This was also on DVD, which is by in Region 1 by Cheesy Flicks on there. However, this is a 1994 Good Times Home Video release on VHS as well. Because I had to watch this on Tubi, though, because my VCR no longer works. And one of the all-time greatest sci-fi movies of the 70s at the time that this is also presented in THX certified that I, and digitally mastered on VHS, which is Star Wars Episode IV, A New Hope. However, when it was released in theaters in, on before Memorial Day, um, this was also known as Star Wars. No, there was no CGI at the time as well, if there was ever available, though. Because, like most sci-fi movies in general, Star Wars is the biggest example for how you want to cross for the thing as well, of how you ever wanted to come by to this accordingly. 
And I think I got this a while back at Hollywood Video on VHS, though, because... Yeah, it's this one. It's been a while since I've seen this one as well. Great mo good movie, in my opinion. Did a movie review on that as well. So that's going to be it for my video here for today, you guys. Thank you for watching. Hope to subscribe for more content. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, especially if you're new to my channel. Well, because I'm starting getting into the Blu-rays and a lot of variety of collecting hobbies as well. And also, be sure to smack the like button if you enjoyed the video. Hit the notification bell button. Be sure to get notified also as well for more latest updates just to keep you notified. Let me know your thoughts in the comments by leaving the comments right in the comments section below. Just let me know if you like as well. Be sure to check out my Anime Planet or Analyst at your leisure at this point because I'm started getting into Letterboxd now. So this is Ruroni K95 saying thank you for watching my video and I'm glad you liked it. Hope you enjoy it. Hope to see you soon for the next video. Be sure to stay safe, stay healthy, and have a great day. And I'm also literally getting into doing a discussion video about forming a metal band also. This is Ruroni K95 saying thank you for watching my video and I'm glad you liked it. Hope you enjoy it. Hope to see you soon for the next video. Be sure to stay safe, stay healthy, and have a great day once again. This is Ruroni K95 signing off. Thank you for watching my video, and I will see you soon for more videos that I got them planned. Take care.